What's up you guys, it's Olivia from Live Laugh Love Pets 1 here, and look at you. Um, I just want to show you guys what I do when I clean cages. Um, right now I put them in a little cage right here, even though that's exactly what their cage is. Um, come here, come here. This is Crystal. Um, but, yeah, so I just want to show you guys. So, uh, first thing I normally do is I usually don't use another bucket to, um, dump the bedding in. But I cannot find my bags anywhere. So, I am just going to dump it in the bucket and then I'll dump it in the big plastic bag. Right here. So, they're getting to bed like this. Boom. Today marks the third day. Their bedding is, I'd say it's fairly good. Um, <laughs> my parents just, when they have nothing to do with their work, they just sit and shred paper for me for bedding. So hopefully I have that done for me so I don't have to spend money to buy paper. Um, I'm just going to set the camera there for right now. Let's drop my here. You can't really see anything. So I guess maybe if I don't like this. Push everything back. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take Clorox wipes and I'm going to wipe it out. And I'm just going to stick my dirty Clorox wipes inside the uh, bin that I put the um, old bedding in. Like I said, this is the third day cleaning. I clean every three days because with skinnies, they, um, da -da -da, they like produce more um, poop and pee. So... Normally they uh, have to get changed more often. Most skinny breed, or most skinny owners that I know clean them every morning, just because they stink worse. Um, breeders typically, if they have a ton of guinea pigs, they typically don't clean them for like more than probably about four, three to four days. They don't clean them um, just because it's a lot of money to buy bedding. Most people don't. Oh, there they are mating. I don't want to move the camera though because the camera's on their cage. Um, so yeah, definitely most breeders like to clean up that often just because I think most breeders don't do this. Um, they don't have time. I don't have time. So last time, her last bedding brand I used was Carefresh um, because it was best brand because it was soft and cushy for them and yeah so today I'm not going to clean the cages fully but I like to take out the bedding and kind of wipe down the access and then usually at the end of the week um I clean them fully um one of my Clorox wipes here so, not sure what I'm going to do when that happens, when I'm in the middle of cleaning all the cages. Um, so this is basically what I do, just kind of quick scan it, make sure there's nothing left. Um, and then at the end of the week I go and I clean the rest of the cage, like soak it and everything. So, here's that. Okay, so then we just have this page. So it's like that. There's still some stuff up in the corners. Um, that's fine until at the end of the week when I scrub it down. Um, then I take my paper shredding. 
Buddy. Hang on. Just get it up there. I'm trying to do a good angle. Maybe. Okay, there we go. So then I have to take my bedding and obviously put it in there. So the are right behind you. I like to put a lot of bedding in there for them so they can mess around in it and have fun. Um, I'm pretty sure this is new. The kind she shreds up, my mom shreds up, is either bed or like um, newspaper or like printer paper. Uh, they can't have like paper with like obviously this is newspaper, but they can't have like newer newspapers. They have to have old ones. Um, what are you guys doing over there? Um, ink is not suggested for them, especially because they consume it. They eat it. So, normally, most game figs do not have, like, this. They don't have, like, this kind of setup. I think that's part of the reason why breeders don't do it as well. Um, but my guinea pigs never really had a problem with them eating it. Um, they eat it a little bit, and then they realize that it's not food, so they stop eating it. Um, oh, gotta grab you guys, sorry. So, now I'm just gonna put their stuff back in their cage. Um, original cage. Here's it, and then their hay. I just put this bedding in there, in there earlier, so now I'm just gonna take the guinea pigs. Sorry guys, my time, or my thing completely timed out on me, so... I had to restart the video. Um, so basically what I did is I just cleaned the cages. And I'm not sure if it just saved my video or not. Um, but basically what I did was I took this bedding. And like all the old bedding. And I dumped it into this this box over here. So now all the dirty bedding's in there. Uh, I just put my guinea pigs in this little thing right for now. Um, so I'm just, oh, you don't no need for me skier. No, I'm sorry, I'm holding you weird. Come on. You don't need to be scared, Crystal. You don't need to be scared. So, yep, she's in there, and now i got to go up some more, because I hate grabbing her. She can't grab her right. Sorry about that, girl. Sorry. No, she's down there already relaxing. See, I love giving them lots of bedding. I'd say it's about two inches, like this... From here to here, it's about two inches thick. Um, so yeah, so then I'm just going to put their cage back to where it was. <clears throat> Woo! And so then I get on the third day, so now their cage is clean. And then we move over to either of these cages. Um, I'm going to do this cage right here, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do another video on this cage right here, as it is much bigger and kind of hard to clean actually because of this like this cage isn't even really that it's not easy to clean at all um, so yeah but here you go guys there's a little sneak peek of that cage and here's them in their new cage they're too thick inch bedding um the heck that looks weird normally I don't like using store bought cages or tubs but these two are in breeding and so I don't have an extra cage for the boy. And also, I could put him in with these two, but they're too young. And I don't want to have them have birth complications at all. So, they're ready to breed in about a month. Month, month and a half. And eventually, these two plus these two will all be together in this cage. Um, and then, there's a possibility that the little black one in there that she could be in this cage too. I'm not exactly sure on her. I mean, like I know her birth date, but I have to size her and weigh her to see if she can breed that yet or not. And then that little white one in there, she's going to her new home soon, so she won't be here for long. So eventually they'll all be living in here for a little bit. And then Frosty's probably gonna be living in this cage for a little bit while I'm trying to get him a CNC cage. So yeah, sneak peek. <laughs> 